Earlier this year, Disabled Women Ireland ran a campaign called Disability is Not a Dirty Word. We ran this campaign for a number of reasons. You see, too often it's the experience of disabled people at least. Disability is viewed as a negative thing, something to be hidden and something not to be spoken about. And an example of this can be seen in the terms that we use to describe disabled people. Phrases like special needs, additional needs, handicapable or differently abled are all used to avoid saying the word disabled or disability. But disability is not a dirty word. And by not describing disabled people as having a disability or as being disabled, we are distancing disabled people from their rights. Now let me explain what I mean by that. You see, disability rights are human rights and disabled people have the same needs as everybody else. And because disability rights are human rights, they have the same entitlement as everybody else to have those needs met. But when we frame disability as a situation where somebody has special or additional needs, we're giving the impression that these needs are somewhat extraneous or surplus to requirements, and they're absolutely not. Moreover, we convey the idea that having these needs go unmet is somewhat acceptable, and it's absolutely not. Similarly, describing a disabled person as being handicapable or differently abled, aside from being really patronising, frames disability as a situation not where a person experiences barriers in terms of their participation in society, but rather just as a situation where a person is being dealt a different hand of cards. And this is not the case. You see, disabled people do experience very real barriers, and by failing to describe disabled people using appropriate terms, we're not acknowledging these barriers. And moreover, at the very worst, we're not recognising the inappropriateness of the existence of these barriers in the first place. You see, disabled people are people who understand themselves not as being disabled because of the impairments that they have, but because society is structured in a way that is inaccessible. And we need to be able to name disability, we need to be able to talk about disability in an open way if we are to A, not create further barriers, and B, if we're to challenge those barriers in a meaningful way. And we, as disabled people and as non-disabled people, need to use the correct terms to describe disabled people so that we can acknowledge the role that we all have as individuals, as institutions, and as a society to the dismantling of those barriers that disabled people face. But there's one more point that I want to make in relation to this, and that's that when we don't use the terms disability or disabled to describe a disabled person, we're perpetuating this idea that disability is a negative thing, that it's something that has to go unseen or something that cannot be named. And this is not the reality. You see, you ask 10 different people what the impact of their disability on their life has been, and you will get 10 different opinions, but they will not all be negative. In fact, if you were to ask me, I would say that my disability has had a broadly positive impact on my life. And in my experience, disabled people are some of the most creative, innovative, dynamic, solution-focused and community-orientated people that you will ever meet. But we face real barriers in terms of our participation in society. But when we don't talk about disability in open and honest terms, the first thing that we do is we create more barriers. But more importantly, we make it more challenging to address those barriers that already exist. And so by naming disability, we are giving disabled people the space to talk about these issues. And it's for that reason that disability is not a dirty word.